Hi, now what we've got here is an example based on collision between two particles and what I've done is I've started to sketch a typical diagram that would be associated with a problem like this. What we've got is a particle A of mass M is moving with a speed of U on a smooth horizontal floor when it collides directly with another particle B of mass 3M which is at rest on the floor. And the coefficient of restitution between the particles is E, and the direction of motion of A is reversed by the collision. And what we've got to do is find, in terms of E and U, the speed of A immediately after the collision, and the speed of B immediately after the collision. So, if you'd like to uh, give this a go, if you've not done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when you're done, and you can check your solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So what we need to add to this diagram here is the final speeds of our particles. Now we're told that A's motion, the direction of motion of A is reversed by the collision. So clearly then that's going to go off now to the left. And I'm going to call this a final velocity. We'll call it VA. And B will start to move to the right. As soon as it's hit by A, the only direction it can go is off to the right. So we'll put an arrow in that direction and we'll call that VB. Now to work out VA and VB, what we've got to do is first of all consider, say, the conservation of linear momentum. So if we just put a little subtitle here, let's just say cons okay, of linear momentum. I'll put it in brief, OK? Now, I'm assuming that you're familiar with this, and that is essentially the momentum before impact equals the momentum after impact, providing no external forces act on the system. So we've got then to take a positive sense for doing momentum, and I'm going to take it to the right. You can take it whichever way you like, but uh, do stick to it throughout the problem. So what we've got is the momentum before impact. So it's just going to be for A, M times U. So we've got MU. There's no momentum initially for B. So this is equal to the momentum after impact. So for A, we've got the mass, M, multiplied by the velocity, which is going to be negative VA, because it's going in the opposite sense to this. So we've got M times VA. And to this, we add the momentum of B. So that's going to be the mass, 3M, multiplied by VB. VB is in the positive sense, so just 3M VB. And what I can do now is we'll just divide through by M. It's in every term, so we can take that out. And cleaning this up, it just gives us, therefore, U equals minus VA and then plus 3VB. OK, so that's one equation. Let's number it 1. Now we need another equation, and in a problem like this, the other equation comes by considering Newton's law of impact. And again, I'm assuming that you're familiar with this. That is based around the coefficient of restitution. Remember, there are tutorials on my website on this. Newton's law of impact says that the coefficient of restitution E in this case, okay, for this example, compares the relative speed of separation to the relative speed of approach. Now, the relative speed of separation, because they're moving away from one another, it's going to be VA plus VB. So you've got VA plus VB. And we compare this to the relative speed of approach. Well, because this is stationary, then we've just got the relative speed of approach is just U. So there's our ratio there. And what we can do now is just multiply both sides by U. And what we get is that it follows from this 
that EU equals VA plus VB. And we'll call this equation 2. Now all I've got to do is just solve these two equations simultaneously. So I could, for instance, add the two equations, 1 and 2. If I do that, I've got U plus EU, which I could factorise actually, pull out a U, and we've got 1 plus E. And that's going to equal, well, the minus VA plus VA, that cancels out to 0. 3VB plus another VB is 4VB. So if we divide both sides by 4, we end up with a final velocity of B equaling a quarter of U multiplied by 1 plus E. So there's our final velocity of B. OK, we've got part 2 first. Doesn't matter. We can go on to get A just by simply substituting this value into one of the other equations. I'm going to pick, say, equation 1, I think, sub in 1. And uh, if we do that, what we've got is that, therefore, u equals minus VA. And then we've plus 3 times VB. So that's going to be 3u over 4 multiplied by 1 plus e. And what I could do now is just multiply through by the 4. If I do that, we get 4u equals minus 4va. And at the same time here, just expand the brackets. We'll just be left with a 3u multiplied by 1 plus e. So if we expand the bracket, we get 3u plus 3eu. And then what I can do now is add 4VA to both sides. So if we do that, we get 4VA. And at the same time, subtract 4U from both sides. So we get 3EU. And then 3U minus 4U is minus U. I can pull out a common factor here of U. And would have 3E minus 1. And that would be equal to 4VA. But then if I divide both sides by 4, I get VA equals U times 3E minus 1, all divided by 4.